therefore, by plugging the derivative into the distance formula and solving, we will get the correct answer of roughly 1.5946088. Hey. Hey, what's wrong? Come quick. Some loser wants us to rap about question 6 on the AP Calculus BC free response question section. Oh, not again. I'll go get my calculator. Okay. Okay. Big number six on the free response section is typically a series of sequences question. And with these few steps, you sure won't be guessing because our sequence of steps is a mandatory the lesson. The Maclaurin series 4 function f is given by the sum from 1 to infinity of the quantity negative 3 to the power of n minus 1 over n then times x to the n is equal to x minus 3 has x to the second. Plus 3 plus times plus x hell yeah, to hell the yeah. third. Minus dot dot minus. dot. Plus quantity negative 3 to the power of n minus 1 over n times x to the n and converges to f of x with the absolute value of x is less than r. Where r is the radius of a convergence for the Maclaurin series? Duh. A. Use the ratio test to find R. Just use the ratio test and they'll think you're smart. Term up on the top and term N on the bottom. After you cancel out like turns, you basically got them. Now take the abs value of the ratio. Limit as N goes to infinity. So? N in the top. And N plus 1 in the denominator. Are both infinity. So they cancel out. Worry about them later now. Absolute value of 3x is less than 1. Divide both sides by 3 and then you're pretty much done. Now you got it in the term abs x is less than r, so logically we can conclude that 1 third is our final answer. Yo B! Rate the first four terms that are in zero of the McLaurin series for f prime. And not expressing it as a rational function, for abs x is less than r is a crime. Part B of this question is quite easy when you think about how all you gotta do is just derive each of the terms of f of x which we were given at the start of this problem. So just bring those exponents right down to solve them. Leaving us with 1 minus 3x plus 9x squared plus 27x to the third that wasn't as hard as it looked at the first impression but don't forget the question also asked for f prime as a function which is also quite straightforward. Let's go to loops for some fun, son. Loops in the house. By now my eyes be getting teary and my wrist be getting weary But it looks like we have ourselves a geometric series Where negative 3x is a common ratio This was a composition, don't you know? Of negative 3x into 1 over 1 minus x Our answer is 1 over 1 plus 3x Next! Damn, that was good loops, but what about part C? I think I'll hand it back to you guys, it's rather easy Loops out! For part two, you must write the first four non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series for e to the x. Use the Maclaurin series for e to the x to write the third degree polynomial for e to the x times f of x. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful blessing you've given on my final AP3 response question. I'll just write out the series of e to the x, which I've definitely memorized specifically for the test. 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 plus x cubed over 3 factorial composing e to the x with f of x. Makes 1 times the series of f of x plus x times the series of f of x. Yes! Plus x squared over the factorial of 2 to get close to the final answer. Now distribute through. Then since it's only asking for the, the third degree, degree, you just expand it to the term x cubed you see. Just add the sum of the like terms from each of the sections. Combining them with your final answer to complete the question. Final answer! <laughs> x minus one half x squared plus two x to the third. Word! Point, 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 point,